Hello, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these little Christmas tree ornaments. I call them I Love My Dog Ornaments, and they're really cool and fun to make. Um, they make great gifts. They make great um, um, gift tags, and you can also take two of them and sew them together and a gift card can slip right down inside. They're just really fun to make and you can make them like the person who you're giving it to in the colors of their dog or your own dog. They're really fun to make and something really neat is we make them out of a heart and this heart pattern is just a fun pattern that you can use for other things as well. So we're gonna make a heart and then we're gonna turn it upside down and add some ears and make it into a puppy. Now how I discovered this particular pattern is when I was making some cookies with my granddaughter and we were making little hearts and one of them busted in half and I stuck it on the sides for ears and we laughed and laughed it was so much fun and then I thought oh I need to make a crochet pattern that looks like that. So I thought I'd write a new pattern and make these little Christmas tree ornaments, decorations. You can also put these on stockings, hats, and sweaters. Whatever that you want to do with them. You can see we used metal um, hangers here. We added buttons and bows. We uh, This one's got a yarn tie. I mean, there's tons of different ways that you can do it. You can add all different kinds of buttons that you want to just to make them creative and the way you like them. I think they look great as gift, as gift tags, though. All right, what you're going to need is the pattern is stitched up with our H hook. You're going to need your needle and your scissors for cutting and sewing, of course. And then the yarn set we used were just your basic Red Heart Super Saver yarns. White, brownish, this is that um, color I call gingerbread. I think it's latte mocha. So I'm thinking of, I can't remember exactly, but it's just a... A, a medium brown then I used a beige here and a pink but you you can do any colors that you want for our demonstration today we're going to be making another one like this pink one the pink face beige ears and a little bit darker for the eyes and the nose and they take very little yarn so just gather you up some scraps of your favorite worsted weight four yarns or some that you just have laying around and give it a try So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is make a heart that looks like this. And like I said, this is a great little heart pattern. Let me show you. It measures, oh, that's backwards. There we go. It measures about three inches long. And at the widest part, it's about, oh, three and a quarter. So it's a nice size little heart. It could be used for an applique on other things if you wanted to. So we're going to make the heart first, and then we're going to turn it in to a puppy. So let's set those aside. Get my notes here. So the first thing we need to do is make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Move these out of the way there. The first three chains are going to count as our first double crochet. So we're going to place 11 double crochets in this fourth chain from the hook. And just in case you don't remember what a double crochet is, you yarn over, go through the chain or stitch that you're working, and pull up a loop. You've got four loops on your hook, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two. So now our chain three counts as our first double crochet, <clears throat> our, and then our double crochet. So we need to do 10 more double crochets for a total of 12 double crochets because we're starting at the center of our heart. I have my 12 double crochets. And don't panic if you've got a little hole in the center. I'll show you how to close that up with that tail. So we did our 12 double crochets. We're going to join to the top. 
of that chain three with the slip stitch and we're only going to chain three. One, two, three. I say only. We are going to chain three. All right. Now for row two, we're going to place one double crochet in the same stitch as our chain. And then we're going to place one, uh, two double, I'm sorry. Then we're going to place two double crochets in each double crochet around. And we had 12 on the first row. So the second row, we're going to need 24 double crochets. So two double crochets in each double crochet around. We're placing two double crochets in each double crochet around for row two. Row one, we have a circle of 12 double crochets. Row two, our circle is 24 double crochets. Make sure you have 24 double crochets around on row two because we're going to need every single one of those stitches. Now, row three can be a little bit complicated, so this is what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to go slowly because we have some different stitches in narrow places and to make the heart bumps and then the point. And we're going to be doing half double crochets and double crochets moving around. We'll be starting here and we're going to move around the heart this direction. Then we'll go down to the point and then we're going to move back up and end here. And so if you get confused, remember the best thing about YouTube is that you can pause, reverse, and watch it as many times as you need to. But I'm going to go slow. And like I said, we'll be starting here. We'll do the first bump. We'll move around to do the point. Then we'll move back up, do our second bump, and join here. All right. So... Let's take it nice and slow. I've got my notes here just to make sure we don't make a mistake and we're going to go nice and slow. So the first thing we're going to do is in that first stitch, we're going to make a slip stitch. So we're going to go through and make a slip stitch. All right. The next stitch in the next double crochet, we're going to make a single crochet. So we'll make one single crochet in the next stitch. So we've got a slip stitch and a single. In our next stitch, we're going to make two half double crochets. A half double crochet, you yarn over, you go through the stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have those three loops, yarn over, and go through all three of those loops. And we're going to make a second one in that same stitch. All right. Now, in the next double crochet, we're going to be placing three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, go in, do this two more times. And you can see we're beginning to form our first bump. Now, in the next double crochet, we're only going to place two double crochets. So we do the same thing, only we only place two in the next stitch. Now, this is a free pattern on my blog, and I do have a, um, a, a picture that shows you all the stitches and where to place them. So go to my blog and get that so that you can look at it. All right, so now the next stitch, we did the two double crochets. And in the next stitch, we're going to place two half double crochets. And remember, we go in, we pull up a stitch, we yarn over, and we go through all three. So we're going to do two of those in that next stitch. Now, the next stitch, we're only going to place one half double crochet. So you can see we've, we've moved around. We're making our heart bump. Let me... Two half double crochets, one half double crochets. Now, we're going to be moving down. We're right here. We're going to be moving down this way. So we're going to place 
one single crochet in the next four stitches. So, one, two, three, four. All right. Now we're going to be forming this section. We're coming this way. We're going to be forming this section and moving down to the point. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is in the next stitch, two half double crochets. So there's one, two. Then we're going to place one single crochet. Let me go back and check my notes. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. All right, and that brings us to the point. So we did these two half double crochets here, and then in the, the point stitch is where our next stitch is going to be. We're going to place a double crochet. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to double crochet again. And this is our point. And now we've come down around or to our point, and basically we're gonna do everything we just did in reverse. So moving back up this way, we're going to place two half double crochets in the next stitch. See, we're moving back up, two half double crochets in that stitch, and then we're going to place four single crochets. So one, two, three, four. All right. Now we're going to begin forming this edge and the second bump. So the next thing we're going to do is, let's see, one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then the next stitch, we're going to place two half double crochets. One, two. All right. Now we're going to place two double crochets in the next stitch. You can see our bump on this side is starting to form. Looks a little wonky right now because we're moving up here. So we did those two and now we're going to place three double crochets in this next stitch. So, one, two, three, and now we're right here where we were on this side, we're doing it on this side. So now we're going to place two half double crochets in the next stitch, one, two, and this stitch here is our last stitch, we're going to put a single crochet and then we're going to join right in that slip stitch. And we're going to cut this off. And here's our heart. Now, it doesn't look like a heart right here. So what I do is I, let me hook out of there. I go back in here between those two double crochets below. And I pull that hoop, that loop down and then I slip stitch it in the back. And that kind of gives it a little bit more of a heart look by pulling it down. So there's the white one. Here's one, the one we made in pink. Now, like I said, you move around this way and then when you come, you get to your point, this is your double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then you move back up and you're doing the same thing on both sides. So if you're a little bit confused, go ahead and rewind and watch it again. And also go to my blog and get that picture that has it all out there for you. And also it has it all written for you. It's a free pattern. It'll be released after I get the video finished. So it'll be out there today so that you can see how that heart works. It's, it's a great heart pattern. I think it worked out really, really nice. Now I want to show you two things real quick. If you have a hole in the center of your heart, Mine's not too bad. You're cramming 
you know, 12 stitches into one, and sometimes you get a hole. So what I do is I turn it over, and I use this yarn that I began with, and I stitch around the center, there we go, just gently snug on it, and that heart hole will close. And once I get it closed, I go back the other way, that way it's not going to come out, and I just clip it. And that will close the heart hole up. And then also, the second thing you want to do is weave in that end. And so I just go in the back and go one way, then I go down below and go the other. I have learned, you. I mean, you can do this with your crochet hook if you want to, but I have learned that the stitches stay so much better if I use my needle. Even when I yarn over, like sometimes you can stitch over a row, I still go back with my needle and make sure it's going to hold. Okay, so we finished our heart, and now this little puppy needs a face and some ears. All right, now the way that we sew the ears on is we start on the point side and we work this way and then back up and then we turn the heart over and we do the same thing on this side. And they're done exactly the same on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn that we're going to use for our ears and at the point there is that chain one and we're going to begin in the double crochet next to that chain one. And we're gonna draw up our yarn And then the first thing we're going to do is move down this side right here and we're going to place one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one single crochet and two single crochets. And if you're uh, not sure where to place these stitches, you're going to begin on the double crochet next to that chain one. And you'll do the same thing on this side. But there is a picture on my blog that shows you exactly where to begin in case you're not sure. So we placed one single crochet in the next two stitches. Now we're going to place a half double crochet in the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. Then we're going to place one double crochet in the next three stitches. So here's one, whoops, <laughs> two, a little more yarn out here, and three. Now we're going to place one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to place a single crochet. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. And we're going to work back up these stitches on the back. So we're going to place one single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to place a half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to place a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, then a half double crochet in the next two. One, two, then we're going to place a single crochet in the next one stitch and then slip stitch in those last two. One, two. And that's your first ear. Now we're gonna to need to move across here. And so what I do is I slip stitch in that stitch I slip stitched in. Then I slip stitch on the back side 
of that top slip stitch. And now I'm ready to begin my other ear. And we're going to do it exactly the same. We place one single crochet in the first two stitches. One, two, we place a half double crochet in the next three. One, two, oops, I got a string there, three. Then we're going to place a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, pull out some more yarn, three, then a half double in the next, and a single crochet. Then we're going to chain one and turn to the front. Okay, now we're going to work back up here for our second row for our second ear. So one single crochet in that first stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next three, one, two, three, pull some yarn here, half double crochet in the next two, one, two, single crochet in the next one, and then we'll slip stitch in those last two, one, two, and we'll tie off. And then we'll need to use our needle to weave those in. I'm just going to put just a little tie to hold it to the back for now, just to keep it out of the way. But we need to use our needle and weave those in. And make sure when you weave it in, you weave it in the color that matches or it will show through. But there's the little, the little puppy. And now we need to add his little face. So we're going to get some yarn. I'm using a little bit darker. And we're going to add the face so that it looks like this one. So we need our needle. All right. The way that I do it, to help, to help this stay even, I come up right here in the center of, of the face. And I go ahead and pull this. I mean, and I don't tie a knot or anything, I just hold it with my hand so I can weave that in later. And I come up the center like this, and then I decide where I want to put my nose. And I'll go like this, make that one stitch, and then I'll go straight back down there. And the nose is a triangle. So what I'll do next is I'll come up over here where I want my triangle to be, and it's up to you how wide you want your nose, if you want it to be narrow. And mostly it's just eyeballing. Like this. I'll come right back there. There we go. And then I'll do that line across. And then I'll just fill in the nose with long stitches until it's as full as I want it. And it's up to you, you can do as many as you want. There you go. Now, then after I get the nose as full as I want it, I go ahead and I go up here and I add the eyes. And the way I do that is I make a French knot. That one, um, you wrap the yarn around one, two, three, four times. And don't do it too tightly, but nice and snug. Then you go back in your yarn, but not in the same hole or it'll pull through. And then you just make your little French knot. And then we go across and we do the same thing 
on this side. One, two, three, four. Let's go right in. Another thing is make sure you go in a stitch and not the hole between the stitch or your eye will slip through. There we go. So we got two little eyes. And then uh, what I do is you can see the back's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. And I'll just go ahead and, and move back down to my nose. If I can get my thread in there, my needle. It didn't go in the right spot. Let me, there we go. that up a little bit. All right, and then I'll end up making another line in the nose, and it just helps it um, stay put. And then I want to do the little side mouth, and so I'll go right down the center again. There we go. And I'll just add the little smile like that, and like that. <laughs> He's smirking. <laughs> That one's a little too high, isn't it? Well, that's okay. He looks like he's smirking. <laughs> and then I'll just go on the back and tie that in. I'm going to go ahead and cut those shorter just so they're out of the way. And that's our puppy. I'll have to call him the smirking puppy, huh? <laughs> So anyway, at this point, it's totally up to you what you want to do. If you want to add a little snowflake or a button, whatever that you want to do, you can add ribbons and bows, and then you can hang it on the tree like that. Now, another thing that you can do is stitch the two of them together and make it into a card for a gift card holder. And the way you would do that is, let me just show you with one of these. I'm gonna set those aside. What you would do is you'd turn one backwards and one forwards. And then you would stitch about halfway around the ear with single crochet all the way around your puppy to back over here. And you'd leave an opening in the top. And in that top opening is where you would slide the gift card. And um, then you would just put your, your um, tie on or whatever, but just make it so that they can unhook it and get that gift card out of it. So it's, very, it's such a very versatile pattern. You can make it, like I said before, it's a decoration. You can hang it up. You can um, put it on a stocking, a hat, a sweater, decoration you can put it on a pennant use it as a christmas ornament or a gift tag or place marker so it's just a fun little dog and of course because it's made with a heart i called it the i love my dog christmas ornament <laughs>